Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel Chaya Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and tricky question from entrance examination. We know that a times b equal to 2, b times c equal to 4, and a times c equal to 6. And we need to find the thumb a plus b plus c. So if you have your answer, your assumption, you can write in the comments below and then we will check our answer. So it will be it will be really interesting. So first of all, this first equation a times b equal to 2. Let's let's I call this as the first equation. b times c over uh, equal to 2. This a second equation and a times c equal to 6 this of a third equation so we have three equations and, and at the first step let's use this combination so let's multiply the first equation by the second one and let's divide it by the third one so we have the first equation we're going to multiply it by the second equation and we're going to divide it by the third equation let's see what will happen so we have this this combination first equation a b a b times second equation b c and we divide it by the third equation, by AC. But we have to, if you're talking about constant, AB equal to 2, BC equal to 4, and we divide it by AC. AC equal to, equal to 6. But on the left side, what do we have? We can easily cancel our A from here, and we can easily cancel our C from here. And as a result, we have only our B square. So on the left side, we have our B square equal to, we have right here our 2 times 4 equal to 8, so we have 8 over 6, or we can write it as 4 over 3. Okay, so 4 over over 3. So this is our b, b square. So let's let's underline it that this is our b, b square. The second step, let's use different combinations. So let's use first equation, let's multiply by the third equation, and let's divide it by the second equation. Let's see what will happen right here. First equation, a, b times the third, uh, third expression. Yeah, we have a, c times a, c. And we're going to divide it by second expression, BC. By the way, by the way we're going to divide it by BC. Here you're talking about constant AB equal to, equal to 2 times AC equal to 6. And we divide it by, by 4. As a result, on the left side, we can easily cancel our B. We can easily cancel our C. And we have only A square. So this is our A, this is our A square. What do we have on the right side? 2 times 6. We have 12. 12 well, divided by 4 equal to equal to 3. So a square equal to 3. Second expression extremely important, extremely important for us. And the last one, let's let's use the last combination. What do we have? We have bc times ac, so we have second equation times the third equation, and we're going to divide it by, by the first one, by the first, first equation. As a result, what do we have? bc, bc from here, and yeah? we have bc times the third equation times ac, and we divide it by BC, B, uh, by, uh, by AB, yes, the first one, so AB. As a result, if you're talking about constant, if you're talking about values, so BC equal to 4 times AC, 6, and we divide it by AB, by 2. From here, on the left side, we can easily cancel our B from here, we can easily cancel our A, and we have only C times C, so C square equal to... 4 times 6 equal to uh, 24, 24 divided by 2 equal to 12, so C square equal to equal to 12. So this is really great, but keep in mind that we need to find our a plus b plus c. And right now we need to find out uh, what algebraic formula we're going to use in our question. So we know the squares and we need to find a plus b plus c. So right now I'm going to show you how can we find it. So we really need to know about really important formula. a plus b plus c to the second power equal to a square plus b square plus c square and plus 2 times AB plus BC plus BC and plus A AC. This is a classic algebra formula. This is a really important formula. Of course, we can use this in terms of a plus b to the second power, but in our case, we have the three, three variables, a plus b plus c, so this formula looks like looks like that. And right now, let's try to look what do we know from here, because we have a square plus b square plus c square. We know everything about it. We know a square, we know b square, we know c square. Really great. What about parentheses? In parentheses, we have a b plus b c plus a c. Of course, we know everything about it, A, B, B, C, A, C. So we know everything about this formula. And moreover, we really, really need to find A plus B plus C. So we have the expression that we need to find and we, and we know everything on the right side. So right now, let's let's plug in. Let's solve it step by step. So we have A plus B plus C to the second power equal to A square 3, yeah? Plus B square 4 over 3, so plus 4 over 3, 4 third, and c square, c square equal to 12, so plus 12, and plus 2 times 
AB plus BC plus AC. So AB plus BC plus AC. 2, 4, 6. 2 plus 4 and plus 6. Okay, right now let's simplify it and then we're going to find our A plus B plus C. So we have A plus B plus C to the second power equal to, first of all, let's write our uh, fraction, 4 over 3, yeah? The next thing, we're going to have 3 plus 12. Let's write it as 15. Let's add it. 4 plus 15 and our parentheses. So uh, 2 times 2 plus 4 plus 6. So in parentheses, we have 12. 12 times 2, we have, uh, we have 24. So plus 24. Really great. Right now, let's simplify this real quick. So we have A plus B and plus C uh, to the second power equal to 4 third plus. Right here, we have 39. 39, which is equal to, right here we can easily add it, so we have uh, the common denominator, we have 3, so we have 4 times 1, plus 39 times 39 times 3. As a result, we have 4 plus 39 times 3, we have 100, 117, and we divide it by we divided by 3. As a result, uh, our uh, a plus b plus c to the second power, so a plus b plus c, to the second power equal to 121 over 3. 121 over 3. But this is our a plus b plus c uh, to the second power, okay? We need we need to find a plus b plus c, so that's why we need to apply square root on both sides, okay? On both sides, as a result, our a plus b plus c equal to square root of 121 over 3. But according to a square root property, there's like a great uh, square root property. This property looks like that whenever you have square root of a over b, you can easily split it like square root of our numerator divided by square root of our denominator, okay? As a result, we can easily consider it as square root of 121 over square root of 3. And square root of 121 is equal to is equal to 11, yeah? So this is equal to 11 over square root of 3. 11 over square root of 3. And one really important moment, because a lot of students, um, a lot of teachers, a lot of students multiplying our numerator by and denominator by square root of 3. And that's why in our denominator we can have only 3, okay? So our final answer to this question, so a plus b plus c equal to 11 square root of 3, 11 square root of 3, over, over 3. This is our final answer, final answer to this question. And if you're interested in approximately answer, because sometimes you can find approximately answer, because mm, you can easily uh, know this square root of 3 approximately, and sometimes you can approximately guess uh, uh, approximate answer. Yes, yeah? so as in our case, we have 6.5. Thirty-five. This is not necessary. Uh, this app to you, if you know approximately answer. For example, you know square root of two, square root of three, maybe. Yeah. But for example, square root of seventeen, you you don't know this value. So in, in this case, you can easily find, you can easily find a approximately answer to this question. So let's do this. So our final answer to this question, our final answer. So a plus b and plus c equal to eleven square root of three over over 3. This is our final answer uh, to this uh, to this question, so a thumb equal to 11 square root of 3 over 3. And I really hope you understand my explanation, I really hope you, you learn something new, but right now we can easily go through the steps real quick. So first of all, we can, we need to uh, consider this combination. So first combination, from here we know b square, from here we know uh, a square, and from here we know c square. And in one really important moment, because sometimes you need to find the exact value of a, b, and c, and in this part you can easily find it because a equal to square root of 3, c equal to square root of 12, and b equal to square root of 4 over 3. Of course, with the plus minus, but if you're talking about maybe maximum positive um, thumb, you can easily consider with the, only with the positive sign, and you can guess a equal to square root of 3, b equal to square root of 4 over 3, and c equal to square root of 12. So that's why a lot of students should know this part when, we need, when for example, you need to find a, b, and c, you can easily find it with, with the three lines, you can easily find it in, in this part. In our case, we need to find a plus b plus c, so it's, it's much interesting for us to uh, find it with this, uh, with this basic formula, with this basic algebraic expression expression, which helps us a lot, because then we're going to plug in squares, we're going to plug in our combinations, A, B, A, B, B, C, A, C, and then we, with a few manipulations, we can find our, uh, our, our answer. This is not a hard question, this is a basic question, uh, which requires like, like a lot of logic, because uh, you need to know how can we um, combine all these expressions, how can we find our, our thumb, and of course you can easily do this with a few steps. The first steps with the squares, and second 
second step, like maybe this is the most important part when you know this formula, when we keep this formula in your head, you know, okay, I need to find squares. I have combinations. So how can you find squares? Of course, with this method of combinations, you just combine, you just mix all these expressions and you have uh, squares. Okay. So this is my solution to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel, a lot of different questions, Olympiad question, entrance examination, and you know, a lot of great, great challenges. So I really hope you, I really hope you enjoy it. So thank you everyone for your time. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. Don't forget to leave um, your response. You maybe you have something uh, to ask. It's really great to exchange information in the comments below. And thank you for your support uh, on my channel. We have like uh, more than like 500 questions, maybe almost like 600. So I want to say thank you for for watching my my channel. It's really great. I really. I really appreciate it and wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.